Welcome, welcome very, very much to Conversation. A pleasure. Welcome to the program, my dear, 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 dear friend, Rita Renfrew, who's been a guest many times on Conversations. And it's so good to welcome her to the program. I understand she's here to report that there are no more problems left on planet Earth because everything's in such good hands with our political and banking community that's running everything so adroitly and so well now. And I understand that's what she's got to say. So we'll probably have to cut this program off short because there's nothing, there's no conflicts or anything or no uh, Ill, Ill things going on in the world anymore. And is that, I understand that's what it is? That's Everything's right. under control? Absolutely correct, Harold. Yeah, that's you couldn't. Lot. I couldn't have said it better than you did. Eye, yeah. Nita, so good to see you. Here we are on, what is it, the uh, 7th of uh, November of the year 2013. So tell me, how do you see things? We just had an election. What do we want? You could talk about things that a uh, little introduction was a joke, of course. There's so many problems, 360 degrees every direction you go and everything like that. How are things, how do you see things now on this, uh, on this, uh, on this Thursday, on this uh, Thursday, the 7th of November, 2013? What are the major areas that we ought to be focusing on and can, in order to improve the human condition and also for in personal terms and so forth? What are the major issues? Well, you know, I want to, I want to say something. Yeah, uh, good. I, I think I have a reputation for, um, for always looking at the dark side of everything. You've done some of that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I see people running away from the other <laughs> street, <laughs> right, <you know? laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Particularly with the Guy Fox, yeah. <laughs> Guy Fox mask. You may have seen her behind a Guy Fox mask often. But of course... Uh, a denizen of the Occupy, yeah. Oh, I should have brought it today. Yeah, yeah it's all right, it's, it's all right, yeah. yeah. I've got the other mask on. Mm, yeah, right. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is that, you know, at heart, I'm an editor and yeah. I'm a healer. Yeah. And what editors and healers do is they they look at what's wrong and they try to, you know, make, make things right. right. Yeah. Okay, right. so that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. So I mm. can't go around in denial telling people, you know, trying to make the best of everything because I think that the reason everything is going so badly mm -hmm is because everybody is trying to make the best of everything. Right, okay, that's and, um, interesting, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. it's sort of like that's... But they're being forced to think that, that right? Well, no, no, they, no. They're, they're not being forced to think that way, they're being conditioned. Okay, and, okay, uh, and, uh, okay yeah, know, that's a better to word. To think yeah, that way. Right, uh -huh. And, you know, that's what they, whoever they is, yeah wants, you know, the mm. people that are behind the mess, yeah, huh. you know, the behind the banks and mm. the government and the corporations and yeah, so on. Uh. Um, that's what they want. They want everybody to try to make the best of it, just like slave owners wanted their slaves to try to make the best of it every that's day. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, if yeah, the slaves yeah. hadn't had the attitude of let's make the best of it, slavery would have ended a lot sooner. Uh, Really? Okay, let's well, think I think it would have yeah, because there yeah. would have been some uprisings. You think there would have been? Well, of yeah. course there would have. You know, okay, it's like yeah. because what, what allowed slavery to continue and yeah. what is allowing this kind of slavery to continue right. is because the masters are able to say, well, you know, look, they're, you know, they go to their ball games and they, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they have their Halloween parties mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, they go to their bar and, yeah. and it's like, uh, you know, we have parks for them, and no, they didn't have them for the slaves. Yeah. But that's what makes it possible. But them darkies are really happy. Look at them, they're, they're all happy. singing happy songs. Exactly, yeah, they go home and they thing, sing yeah. at nighttime, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, they're happier than we are. Yeah. And in fact, that's true. That may be actually <laughs> true, <laughs> right? It could well be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. But yeah. What, I, what I really think the crux of the matter is, yeah. You see, I don't think that we can change anything anymore. Is that right? Okay. I mean, we can't change anything. Uh, you know, it's like, I'm a staunch supporter of Occupy. Yeah, I know you are. Occupy yeah. did not go away. It just yeah. is it, it's in a different phase. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy it's, to hear that. It's maybe not out on the streets anymore because like uh, the people on the streets kept going to jails. And when you have a jail record, it gets harder and harder to find the non-existent jobs. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, and, you know, and people had to find a way to survive. You yeah, know. right. But it didn't go away, meaning uh -huh. the knowledge and the conscience of, of, of what happened, mm -hmm. which actually the consciousness was raised among, I would say, the world over about the Yeah, it was so all over the world. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. we really did make a difference. Yeah. Um, it's there. It didn't go away. Yeah. And now there are more people who, are, who know a little bit of that. But what I think, uh, you know, the, the real crux of the matter is that 
is the value system in okay. society. Value system, you're talking now nationally, city, or worldwide, uh, or what? Yeah. The world, worldwide that's being put in by the by the banking system and the consumer society and, and so on. And the PR firms. The PR firms yeah. and everything. You know, this, this, yeah. this establishment, it's really, it's the Western establishment yes, at this right. point. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying that other systems that have come before were that great either, but at this point, it's our Western capitalist uh, consumer establishment that's calling the shots. Yeah, it seems to be, that's the, that's the power structure. That's the power structure now. Jour, yeah. yeah. So, the problem is that the values that are being created, starting with the schools and in the families, are uh -huh. consumer values. That's true, yeah. Nobody, you know, it's like, just think of what kind of a world we could have if everybody were doing things uh, with, the, um, uh, with, with, the, with the intent of making the world a better place. It would be wonderful. It would it? be wonderful. Yeah. I think a lot of people long for that, don't you? Long for that. Yeah, there's but a longing for that. You yeah. know, I long for that, but I don't yeah. do that either. I walk, you, can't. you, you know, have to just... Uh, I walk around, uh, you know, seeing, you know, what I can buy for less. And yeah. This, because that's, you know, that's what's there. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, so I forget to do things for people, too. You know, mm. if I'm rushing to a meditation class, oh, yeah. I may not stop to help uh, a blind person across yeah. the street. Because, I understand, yeah. Because I'm going to go meditate and be spiritual. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know? Right. Rather than help the help and the needy. <laughs> the needy, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, it's important to do that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 <laughs> right. Well, yeah, particularly if you're an I mean, you know, Albert the person trying yeah. to get across the street can yeah. find someone else. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Spoken <laughs> like a New Yorker, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, so, you know, I think that, you know, and it's like, and the schools, the textbooks, you know, it's like the textbooks have, you know, they all, uh, starting with kindergarten and first grade, they all have little pieces in them about how great the banks are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, what they can and do. And the advertising, do. isn't it absurd? It's advertising. Yeah, yeah right, it's right. It's subliminal advertising. We're all happy. It talks about yeah. what the banks do for you, mm -hmm. and then it says little, has little things like, and, of course, they make a small profit because they have to pay for the services yeah, that right. they provide and These so on. valuable services, <laughs> improving <laughs> your <laughs> life. <laughs> Bank with us and you'll smile, Giving you a mortgage smile, that smile. you won't be able to pay off, you right. know, sort of shoving it down your throat and right. then taking your house. Yeah. I mean, somebody has to pay <laughs> for that. That's true. <laughs> yeah. know, and, and the legal fees. Don't forget <laughs> the, the legal, legal fees. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And for all those computer machines. Yes, absolutely. So yeah. we have a society <laughs> where basically people are only nice to other people in order to get something. From them. Yeah. From them. Yeah, Everything, yeah. Is Everything is a Predatory. commercial. Everything is a commercial transaction. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's like... And you know, like you and mm. I've seen this happen in our lifetimes. Yeah. It wasn't always like this no, everywhere. Back in the sixties, no. it was all and nobody thought in the about 70s, those no. things. No, I mean, you know, you went to a party and you went in order to have an interesting conversation right. with somebody, right. or, but you never talked about the rent or right. that you were looking for a job. Never thought or about it. Didn't have to really. Oh, well, well, you should have. But you if did, you were but, but, it, but that's yeah. not what you did. You know, yeah, you didn't right. do that with a social connection. Yeah, right, right. Now you go to a party, and you know, it's like I have it happened. I, I've stopped going to parties because, <laughs> you know, somebody will come up to me and they'll be really smiling and nice and, and I'll think, Jesus, did a good deal today. this person really, uh, you know, is really interested in talking to yeah, me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they'll ask me, you know, what do I do and this and that and the other and I think, gee, they could I sell you a policy? <laughs> yeah, right. Like, and, you know, and, and it takes about five minutes because I think that's what they teach them in the class. Five yeah. minutes and then it's sort close, of like, close, close, quick. Yeah, close. You that's know, I, I just yeah. wrote a book or yeah. I have a policy yeah. or I I got an idea massage, or two. I have yeah. an idea. I got an art that I could express. Exactly. You know. yeah, uh. And the moment that, you know, you don't look like you're a potential uh, customer customer anymore, yeah. the smile just drops. Yeah. I mean, it's like they're, not e they're not even polite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the smile drops. And, and, and sometimes they even say, well, I need to go talk to somebody else. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Go get another. Yeah, right. And you'll see them. And everybody's working the room. Mm -hmm. And, and th they have actually have these... Working the room for money directly or for political or for some, for some for ulterior motive. Yeah. Some ulterior motive. Meaning yeah. in order to get something. Yeah. Because everybody, we've, we've, we're in a society where everybody's been told that you can have anything you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, you sit in, you know, the subways and all of the um, uh, ads on the subways for the colleges all say, you know... Uh, get a career, start here. 
uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. And then they say things like, "You I, too can I be teach, a CEO." I teach, yeah, I teach you to be CEOs, or I teach you to be leaders, or something. And I'm sitting here or saying, stars, or stars. Or stars. Yeah, right. That star quality thing they're looking. And for. then you sit there yeah. and you say, "Well, what? Well, you know, what about the other people? Oh, yeah, what about the I mean, old, like, folks, <laughs> old folks at home? What about the people who are not leaders? <laughs> yeah, right. You know, like if everybody's a leader, then yeah. that undermines the definition of leader, as right, far as right, I'm concerned. Right. And I was I was working for a corporation where. And every, in every room, we had a, a big <laughs> sign saying, be a leader, and this and that and the other. And I don't know, in one of the meetings, I said, you know, I said, I, I, I want to be the only non-leader. <laughs> I'm going to follow everybody. Uh, and one of the people actually explained to me that, that everybody can be a leader uh, because you can be a leader for yourself. And mm. I, I don't know, it's just this kind of gobbledygook. Yeah, right, right, right. And I right. pulled out the dictionary, and, and mm. the, the dictionary didn't say that you know, if everybody is a leader, th I mean, if everybody is something, then, then not everybody's a leader. You yeah, know? right. I mean, it's anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some contradictions <laughs> in the air. Contradictions. Yeah. Yeah. But it's all Madison Avenue mm -hmm. coming up with these slogans, mm -hmm. and people, people are being led to believe that they can do anything they want. They can have, and it's and particularly that that we can have anything we want. Right. And right. that you know, God, and and the people who believe in God say God wants you to have everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you know, it's like. And you sit there, and it's it's just so nonsensical because these same people don't want to hear about anything else. You know, mm -hmm. if you talk about, you know, like maybe we shouldn't be, you know, attacking Iraq at the yeah, time we were having right. the war. Don't talk about that because you're actually causing it to happen. Yeah, and you're losing your chances to get that contract. Uh, that war contract. That, that, that war, war box is exactly. waiting in the hall for the contract you could the sign. The best way to counter yeah. that is by not thinking about it because, mm -hmm. and, and there's, there was this whole thing when The Secret came out, that book, where, um, you know, uh, like attracts like. And mm -hmm. What is it? You know, it's like. Uh, I'm not sure I, I, I'm not sure I know, got the, that one. You know, the, 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 the law of attraction. So okay. that whatever you are is what you're going to attract. So whatever you think is what you're going to attract. Well, it, sounds like, it sounds like L. Ron Hubbard to me, well, or exactly, Scientology. Exactly. Or yeah. So, but but the truth is that there are also the laws of polarity. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like not everything is that. You know, if you were going to attract everything that were nice by having nice thoughts. Oh. Once you had nice thoughts, you would never start. Are you thinking the power of positive thinking? Well, the power of positive thinking. Is that what you were thinking that's of what in it the book? Came, it came yeah. out of that. Yeah. But the power of positive thinking was, and maybe that was paid for by these same people. You yeah, know, like, yeah. like let's get people to think that. Vance Packard. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah. they shouldn't criticize anything. They should just think positively yeah, as a way right. of changing things. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some truth to. Yeah, there is something positive to positivism. Thinking, yeah. But you can't. Take it to its extreme, yeah, and it's which is a, going on now. It's a, which is a little. And it's thing. because the, the system is so screwed up that people are well. Some are there drawn by voli vocation or volition, and others are forced to. No, be it's there. called denial. Denial. It's okay, called living in denial. D e n i a l. You think that's living in denial? It's living in denial. Uh, you know, I I believe, okay. and you know that's why I I always speak up. You certainly do. And sometimes, you know, in certain circumstances, when my job is on the line, mm. I do it as a joke. Yeah. You know, so everybody sort of looks at me like, well, there's that older lady who's getting kind of seen out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. says these things, so I can, I can sort of get away with it. Isn't humor a great retrie <laughs> uh, retrieve to? You know, you can repair to. Yeah, yeah exactly. It so really is. So if you worse comes humor. to worse, and, and I'm going to lose my job for speaking yeah. up, I just make it into a joke. Yeah, right. But, you know, if when I do that day after day, and eventually people start to you know, some of them get the picture and some of them get upset. Yeah, know, they say, right. well, you know, this joke is going a little bit too far. Uh -huh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because yeah. it's it's too clear. Because I think that by not speaking up, you're you're complicit with what's happening. Well, there's something to be said for that. You isn't know, there? silence 1933 is Germany. It? Silence yeah. is uh, permission. Permission, yeah, or yeah, whatever. Or that or yeah, right, that kind of thing. You know. Now, let me go back a little bit because you wrote that definitive book on Saddam Hussein, didn't you? And you were at the Council on Foreign Relations. And I was. Uh, I could have been a member yeah. and everything. And you wrote uh, for some major uh, uh, press uh, releases in Francais or something. Uh, or I wrote for Le Monde Diplomatique. That's right, yeah. right. You did serious and writing. Uh, you wrote a major book about Saddam Hussein I in Iraq. I was a serious uh, writer, but, uh. you know, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eventually, <laughs> I didn't get anywhere. Well, it is... <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, it's, uh, it's <laughs> tough, yeah. 
the yeah. the situation started closing in on me. Also, you were taking a you were taking a position that presented a picture of Mr. Saddam Hussein that wasn't in keeping with what the neocons were trying keeping, to present no, and no. spending billions of dollars to public relations firms to exactly. sell. Exactly, getting, getting in the way of their war. Against, you were running against the grain again. I was you getting in the way of their through. of their going to war against Iraq and yeah, destroying right. the country, which they eventually did. Yeah, right. But anyway, yeah. I, ca I continue to speak up because I think it's it's uh, you know these little grains of salt mm -hmm. are sometimes it's like yeast or sometimes it's like um, you know a little seed or you so can have a grain of sand become an oyster or a pearl you or know, it, that's may, it may thing. just remain a grain of sand yeah that's you know? true maybe <laughs> most grains <laughs> of sand do <laughs> it may actually become powder <laughs> yeah right 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 but whatever it is but I don't want to rain on your parade yeah you, know, you have to you know you have to sort of yeah. do what you can yeah. and hope you know that something will happen but I also think that you change the energy by doing that okay. but I think that by being a denial mm -hmm. and just saying you know we have to think good thoughts uh -huh. you're actually helping uh, you know them. you're helping them uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, so I think you need to speak up I think if everyone were speaking up uh -huh. we could change the world and it, but I think before meaning more than anything else we have to realize that we have to start acting in the world to make, you know, our primary intent should be to make the world a better place. Thank you very much. For all. For all. Yeah. To make the world no. a better place. Not so a better place for me. For every, no. That's what it is. To make a, a, the world a better place. And, you know, it's like we've even gotten into to the point where people do things, people who do things for others, and in, myself included, often do them because it makes us feel good. Uh -huh. You know, so that's not a reason for doing it either. Uh, you no, know? Th that's a certain narcissistic thing. That's a very narcissistic. That. Narcissism. It's very self-serving. Narcissism is a, a, alive and well in the United States. Well, the whole the me, the whole yeah. me generation. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like Catherine Hepburn. Even her, the title of her book was "Me," and I thought, you know, how can this woman fall to that? Well, I loved Catherine Hepburn. But that's actress, my point. So she was a Catherine Hepburn who stood in African Queen. Yeah. Uh, we are born. What we, we are born in uh, nature is that which we were born into. To rise above <laughs> 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 you know I don't know sometimes I think like that but, it, but she was I, I like Catherine Hepburn. but the whole point is that you know it's like we've been told that that me is it and you know you should think well that came after when, when, when did that come in that's so you think of L. Ron Hubbard you think of S do you think it, of it, it uh, did start coming after in time, late yeah. 70s or so late something 70s, like 80s, that it shifted 80s. from uh, what it had been prior to and that and it was sort of like you have to think about your own self-esteem and uh, and I mean I know healers they always talk about but well, think about yourself first because if you're not well, you won't be. A, you you can't help other people unless you're in good. Well, that can be a rationalization, but it did come in, and you became interested in, uh, after writing all this political stuff and really serious. You worked with Gary Sick, I think, and everything like that. Iran, you understood things in a very comprehensive way. Book was great. I couldn't put it down, and you argued for these kind of things, political things, and that sort of thing. But then you got interested in healing. In healing, and that's relatively recent because well, we've known each other decades. Yeah, that's about that's twelve years ago. Twelve years ago, and what caused you to go that way? The reason I did that political was because I realized that you know because of what happened to journalism. What? Well, okay. What? Happened it became very compartmentalized. Okay, talk to it. Talk so to that it. you know, like even in the seventies, you know, when a book would come out. Yeah. Uh, say like the book on Watergate and so yeah, on. Yeah, right. You know, it's something that everybody would read. Right. But right. generally, uh, but slowly that changed in the 80s and 90s. So that with the expanding technology with the of tec television, it was the technology that did it. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> well. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 And technology is 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 what's destroying the earth. You think that? Yeah. That's the premise. Okay. And yeah. uh, meaning it's really what we're doing with it. But you know, technology is an extension of us. It's not that something that that's is apart correct. from. Yeah, that's right. So it's it's us destroying the earth through uh, our extension, which is technology. The technology. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know, it's like if if I said uh, it's people's hands that are destroying the earth. Well, it's the technology. The technology is our new hands. Yeah. Or right. Extremities okay. or whatever. No, I understand what you mean. That's an important part. That's yeah. a pretty unique capability human uh, human beings have over other creatures. They don't have an ability to. I mean, some does exist that way, but by and large they're embedded in nature or embedded in the uh, environment. They don't have a chance to make the, like there's a big difference between wandering around like we did for a few hundred thousand years 
to find a cave you can shelter in and making a house with air conditioning and a yeah. furnace. But you know what's interesting? Making your is own it world. Uh, Mike, uh, Gordon Child wrote a book, Man Makes the World or something. You know, the, yeah. Our capabilities have diminished in the Do sense you, of... You think they have? Yes. Our cap because we're Over more, time? Over we're long? We're more reliant. Sweet? I mean, j I just think of, you know, when I was a child and yeah. you had to learn the multiplication tables yeah. and so on. Yeah. Meaning it's like... That is, it, you know, it's not because math is good or bad or mm. arithmetic or whatever, but it, it, it creates a development of a certain part of your brain. That okay. is true, yeah. Or we understand. We didn't know how the brain worked until 30 and years you ago. You know, before it? that, people were learning Latin, and Latin had, had the same effect. I had to do Latin. I you don't remember it at all, no. hardly. But, yeah. it, but it's, it's something, it's like, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's something that, 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 is that is shaping your brain. Yeah, right. And what's happening now with the technology mm -hmm. is that, uh, you know, people, people are not um, learning to focus for a certain amount of time on anything. Okay, so we that's were the premise, up, yeah. This is books, books yeah. do that. Yeah. Because you you focus on something for several hours at a time sometimes. With a book, you mean? With a book, yeah. yeah. It's linear. It's it, it does create linear thinking. Well, it's not linear you because, okay. because I mean, it can be. It can yeah. be yeah. linear or not linear because what you're doing with your imagination in there is not linear. Oh, well, that's true, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, but, but nowadays, you know, people have these cell phones and, and iPads and so on. I know. And everything is... M instant, yeah. Instant. They're multitasking. They don't focus on anything for more than a few minutes at a time. That's true, At yeah. most. Yeah. And uh, what's happening is that the reticular activating system, part of the brain... What, what reticular? Well that's what is that? That's the part of the brain that, no. that, that, that uh, uh, helps you to focus on something. Okay. And that's okay. not developing. So if really? it doesn't develop... As a result of the media well, context in yeah, which we're... Yeah, meaning it's like we don't know what this <coughs> new generation is going <coughs> to be like. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but we're, s we're seeing uh, the fruits of a, of a new generation that was partially... Uh, that, uh, that has been partially, um, you know, developed by yeah. this new technology. Or having, yeah, the, uh, James Joyce had somebody say, then, we shape our tools and thereafter they shape us. Yeah. It's sort of we, you know. But anyway, what's happening? Choice, the people yeah. are not are not developing the ability to focus. Their mm. brains are not being wired that way anymore. Uh -huh. And we're also not, uh, you know, we're not developing any values of uh, making the world a better place, and people—it's yeah. all how to get what you want in okay. life. So narcissistic. And it's very self-serving, it uh, very self-serving, self-indulgent. Na narcissism is planet. It's a narcissism. Is, uh, yeah. People, people's relationships through texting and so on. Are, I mean, th those are not uh, what you would call deep human relationships. Well, maybe we're just older. Maybe we're just uh, well, not we having. Hey, uh, the older we generation. Are. I don't know what this younger generation is coming to. They've said that ever since the beginning but, of civilization. But, but you I know, think. I've come to the conclusion that. Every generation that said that was right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Because, every, oh, okay. because every generation has thrown out the baby with the bathwater. Okay. You know, so we talk about progress and yeah. so on. Right. And, you know, that's good. Yeah. But, 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 but we, every time we get something, we throw out everything that came before. Yeah. So we're throwing out wisdom and experience well, yeah. and knowledge. Well, how do it was we accumulated for yeah. thousands of years? Yeah, right. Chad, that's true. That's how yeah. you got back to the energy stuff. And exactly. Everything. I think it was exactly. through a sort of like a, a, a commitment or a appreciation of spiritual things, other than just materialistic understanding. Well, that's I it. think that's what and got that's you what thinking say, you know, about energy. I see the energy healing and so on, and, yeah. and that's something. Yeah, that's done reiki and everything. That's yeah. something that a lot more people used to be able to do, probably a few you thousand think, oh, years ago. Yeah, well, okay. well, because uh, people didn't have the distractions that we have today. Or they didn't have the healthcare system to take every dollar they've got. So they, they, uh. you know, they. Uh, but even now, I, you know, I have a, my Mongolian friends tell me in Mongolia, you know, um, their parents and their grandparents and everything, they're very healthy uh -huh. their whole lives, mm. but they only live to be, be about 65. Yeah. Okay. And then they just die. Yeah. You know? Right. Well, yeah, uh, that's a full biography. It, but they have, pretty much, because yeah. they don't have those health care systems that keep them alive. Yeah, right. At the end. Yeah. But they live relatively healthy lives mm -hmm. up until then where over here you know most people are on pills of some mm -hmm. kind yeah uh, yeah a lot of people on pills mood mood enhancing or mood whatever well, that's pills, another thing that's psychic, I mean, we have a whole, psychological a whole, we have a whole uh nation that's taking pills for 
for depression or something. And those aren't taking or for pills sleeping or, or are, are taking drugs or pot uh, and stuff in order to get so into a different head and everything. But that's been around for a while. But I'm talking about, I'm talking about prescription medicine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, well, so they're coming up. With, I'm glad they discovered penicillin, aren't you? They didn't discover penicillin. Well, they, they did. had it before. Yeah. People used to they used to use the green mold on. Uh, on, um, you know, they, they knew about green mold. Really? Yes. Okay, t t talk to me a little bit about that. We make it, it, had we make it sound like, like we know how to do everything now. Basically, what has changed... Were the antibiotics that are helpful? I mean, in terms of there, you combating know, Silver disease? is an antibiotic. The reason people drank out of silver and so on was because that's an anti... I mean, there are lots of natural antibiotics. My daddy uh, uh, was a lawyer in Detroit, and he died and was buried on his 48th birthday. And the average age for a male born in 1899 in the United States of America was 48. Well, I it now becomes 78, but is and that I'm really glad we true? added that 30 years. But is it really true? Uh, because my grandparents, no, that was uh, my, my great grandparents, all died when they were in their late 90s. Well, no, but statistically, well, that's, 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 that's I don't the know that I believe credit. those statistics. Oh, yeah, you want to question point. the statistics? Because I, I think that's official statistics. Because. Well, apparently, you know, I remember... It might, have, it might have included the effects of the flu, you know, in 1918 the or something. Probably Maybe. the flu and, and, yeah. But we've gained 20, 30 years over the I don't the think we have, though. You don't think so? No. Okay, well, that's I mean, a you know, you question. Go to, uh, that's uh, a factual question. You go to question. remote areas of the world where people still live to be 90 and so on, 90, 95 and so on. Meaning mm. it's not, you know, people, places where they don't have modern health care or anything. Well, I, I um, don't know. I have a mixed mind. In the Himalayas and the, and the Armenia. Do you have something and against and technology or... Or do, yes. the expanding do, technology, expanding capability to understand. I'm opposed Is there to any, uh, Do you have any technology. place in your conscience for positivism or like <laughs> August Comte? Are you seeing this progress being made and there's advancement or something no. good about things? Well, the are you mired in the past? Something. Would you like to live <laughs> in the sixth <laughs> century? I or think I would, yes. Okay. Yeah. Now I don't but, think but, that because but, I don't. I okay. think it's a nightmare. Well, I think that a lot. That obviously there but are good things. But that's public relations, maybe too. I've been sold a bill of goods to buy that well, see, new that's product what, that's, that's being offered that's on the what TV. I think. Yeah, but I maybe. Th you yeah. see, I think that that there are some good things. Yeah. But I think that there are more negative things, and I and I'm just thinking, you know, like what's happening now with the technology is the same thing that happened with the food. Um, Ooh, okay, okay, spell it out. Yeah, a hundred years, fifty years ago, say, yeah. there were affordable restaurants all over the place where you could go. Well, how many years ago? Fifty years ago. Fifty. So this is. Well, yeah, we were okay, young. In okay. You know, before yeah. before the McDonald's and the Starbucks and all these things. Well, there were some restaurants. Yeah, but there some of them pretty lousy. Well, yeah. they, weren't any, they weren't any worse than <laughs> who uh, McDonald's. Who, 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 there was a te television ad one time where there was a woman, and it was, a, oh, I'll just spell it out. There was a, a television ad that I showed to John Kowalski. He used to be a guy who worked here and everything. It was really funny. And everything. But it was like when they first invented fro frozen food. Yeah. They, they could freeze food because, you know, everybody didn't know. That it used to be you had the food that was you know, just from the store and everything like that. And they had the ad, I swear to God, they had the thing, like it was a great big thing with the frozen food. And it, they came out and they said, and now you can, <laughs> now you can have frozen food and save everybody. <laughs> they did it, they did it, honestly, they were safe. And you can save everybody from the horrors of home cooking. <laughs> well, but this is, this Mom, is, Mom's home cooking, you can save yourself yeah, from I the can, horrors. I can, that were the words they used. I, can I really laughed myself right off the chair. They when were I, serious. It wasn't a, a when, I, when I was growing up, I remember. The horrors of home cooking. Good old grandma. We had really good food. In, yeah, in I know. Okay. And yeah, okay. And then, but, but then, <laughs> I, you know, I grew up in Mexico. Didn't you think that was funny? You didn't well, let me Let me okay, tell you. Let me tell you, this, let me tell you the story. Uh, it's, not, it's not funny. It's the truth. Uh, uh, when, you know, increasingly canned things came in and frozen foods, and we would, uh, in Mexico, we would go up to the United States. So you were raised in Mexico, yeah. Right. Every six months, we would go across the border to mm. renew our papers and come back yeah, in. Yeah, right. Huh? And we would look at it as an opportunity to buy Wonder Bread. <laughs> Wonder Bread. <laughs> frozen food. <laughs> frozen food was terrific. And I remember yeah. we got this little styrofoam, so we could get as much of it as we could, in and it wouldn't spoil in the three-hour drive. You had to go back, back to Monterey. Yeah, right? and we yeah. had a big freezer yeah. where we would keep frozen we stuff. We had one of those things. Because we, we thought 
frozen food and canned food and everything was, was just a m cat's meow. Was a bad. Yeah, and I mean natural vegetables and fruits that was just everyday mm -hmm. run of the mill stuff. Mm -hmm. that it, we didn't think it was as good. Uh. And I mean, I mean the treats. Now it's, it's the opposite. I think. Yeah, well, at least the But it was it was the marketing. Yeah. You know, it was uh. being sold. This is the new thing, and so on. And we'll it's like, <laughs> and we were being told that yeah, it had like more yeah, vitamins, and, and then they had a TV dinner and <laughs> save you from the horrors of mom's home cooking. Exactly, and yeah. homogenized <laughs> milk and they sold than natural milk, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. But so, but that's they my could point. sell anything. Yeah, they really could sell good. anything. Yeah. But but that's why I think you see. But so what happened to the to the to the food situation? Yeah. Well, now we don't even have access to, <laughs> to the kind of food we had when we were growing up because, you know, you buy organic food and you don't know really what, uh, that's you know, right, how yeah. organic it is. And it's coming in from all over the world. The watermelon in the Alaska in January. And, exactly. You know, and, and, you know, and now food with Monsanto, the where they're Monsanto cloning, with their dim dim cloning tomatoes with yeah. fish and yeah. all that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, but it's true. But it's the true. quality of the food has mm. declined. You think it has. It doesn't. You don't think that's just us old timers no. you complaining about? No, it doesn't. About. It doesn't have the vitamins that it well, used to true. have. Well, it's true. I remember we used to have. Mm -hmm. We used to have tomatoes that would come out of the. Gu We'd go over to Ontario from Detroit and get tomatoes, and we used to can them. You'd put them, <laughs> and you'd have them mm -hmm. there. And we had a quince tree. You could make quince jelly. You would make that. And that stuff was all pretty good. That was all really good and everything like that. But then, and then we got a freezer, and that was a big deal. It's a big deal. We had a big freezer. You could take half a cow or something. Well, apparently, you know. the, the reason, and this to get back to something we were saying a little, the reason that, that, um, that, that um, longevity has increased in yeah. humans is solely because of the refrigeration systems that well, we have created. That is I remember big. there was a study some years ago about that and it said it's not anything else, it's the refrigeration. Right. Because because of refrigeration yeah. people don't get food poisoning. Yeah, absolutely. Remember true. that study? Well, that I do. I, well, I would, I could just take it at faith value, you yeah. know, like that. And that's why we have longer lives. But why, why do you uh. think that it's a, you think we're on a downward path, humanity or something? I I think I tend to think I'm looking forward to a better world than the one in which I grew up or the people who came before me grew up. Well, it's I getting worse some by the day. Maybe being I don't think so. You don't think so. No. You don't think it's just a phase like going where crystal. What is it? A caterpillar becomes well, a no, chrysalis because becomes a butterfly. Maybe we're going <laughs> to all become a butterfly. Well, like, like right now, we're d we're going. Maybe we're in the verge of emerging uh, like a butterfly. Out we're of going chrysalis. digital, thanks to the technology. Yeah, all right. And I mean, what that means is that it, there'll be total control by someone or some group over everything digital, and people are starting to destroy books. Even the libraries are destroying books now. Books will be gone in another. Books train will be gone. Years. And then the digital system is very vulnerable to solar flares or, you know, uh, bombs, daisy wheel bombs or whatever they call them and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. I mean, so it's, it's sort of like, you know, w what we're doing is we're destroying the Library of Alexandria all over again. So no, I, I think know. that in the future, mm. you know, once There's everything redundancies. Now. Once they everything didn't have an Alexandria. Once everything is digital, mm -hmm. uh, they will have the ability to change the content of anything. Right. And that's going to be it. Well, look at what they're, uh, you know, the snow. Because they're going to do away with copiers mm -hmm. too. You know, once everything is digital, mm -hmm. we're not going to need paper copiers anymore. That's right. And pretty soon we're going to get down to where we're some not going to need people. Some of the uh, they got you know it, some it, of the listen. Let me say okay, this. Go ahead. Some of the publishing houses uh -huh. no longer have ho copy machines in them uh -huh. because it's everything is on the screen. Right, right, right. They right. don't have copy. Ma they don't have copy machines anymore. Right. But right. that's what what's happening there is what's going to happen in society. Okay, spell it out again. What's going to happen? So people there? are going to have iPads, and they're not going to have not going to need to copy anything. Right. You see? So we're going to lose the physical uh, evidence of anything that's written. Well, or maybe we're going to be have redundant uh, Snowden and everything, and the uh, security, and, you know, the national security. Thing. Well, the Snowden is illegal. They got, they got, they got every record on everybody. Everybody, you know, you well, there's no privacy. Okay, anymore. but apart from that, apart yeah. from that, they're going to have, all part they're going to have record. control over everything. Right. All information. Right. Right. Meaning with a with a touch of the with a you know just by pushing a button, mm -hmm. they'll be able to edit. Mm. My book on mm. Saddam Hussein, mm, yeah. which will be uh, online, and they'll change it to uh, whatever they want, well, and it'll still have my my name on it. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. And then they can also get access to your account, your your well, account. Well, but that they already can. No, but yeah, but, yeah, but what's yeah, going to happen once there are no more paper books? They're going to yeah. start editing, and manipulate. They, they're going to be able to change all of your programs that are stored on YouTube. My programs yes. are going to be stored. Wait a minute. I well, don't. They're all on YouTube, do. aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Yeah. There are well, a lot of them. Are, okay. A couple hundred. They'll be able thousands. to. They'll be able to. You know, tweak them. Uh huh. To, they'll have you say well, now, how do we different? how do we deal with that so so I mean that's the thing that Snowden and uh, you know Bradley Manning and uh, and uh, da Daniel Ellsberg well, we already knew all of that but they brought it to the fore so that it yeah became but a, a, I mean even know, Daniel Ellsberg at the time of that he didn't have the capability to have like what they have now because that information capability is just going exponential it's going it's not arithmetic it's exponential but they it's got an this evil it's an evil thing. well let's think about it but it's there isn't it they got that capability it's there, but it's that's evil. a capability where they can know everything about everybody it's is no there any way we can fit that into a world that we'd want to live in or not? No. Okay. Is there any way that you could think about it in like science fiction firms or something? Maybe there's something good about that? Or are there any analogies where we could deal with the thing where everybody know uh, is in touch with it? Because that's what they're saying in a sense. They have information about everybody and their privacy is gone. You well, know? But it's not so just maybe it is it's gone. It's not so just what does the that National mean? Security Agency. Yeah. I was listening no, to No, but it's the technology capability to do that, which has only just come in the last eye blink. But I was listening to um, a, um, an interview by a very interesting man named Barry Trower. I don't know. He's a he's a British man. Trower, how do you spell? And he was in T R O W E R. T R O W E R. And he was interviewed by Barbara Tavares. Trower, I don't know either. Okay. She's a she's a, um, a journalist. Yeah, you follow the independent journalist. In way, and yeah. she did this interview. He's he's British, mm -hmm. but he worked for the American government back in the seventies. Right. In the uh, in the early mind control programs using oh, wow yeah. using um, um, you know. Uh, microwaves and all that sort of thing, electromagnetic thing and everything. Okay. And he has this interview of an hour and a half where he talks about all of these capabilities. And it's, 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 it's one of the interesting things that I've seen lately. Mm -hmm. I recommend that everybody uh, Google it up. But anyway, that sort of a thing is still available. You know, like I can read Forbidden TV, you know, which which brings up some of the most interesting um, oh, items. It's forbidden TV is that a it's book? It's no, it's a subscription sort of thing where they sell you they send on you the uh, articles on. Uh, I, I forward some of them to you. Okay. Yeah, where they yeah. send you articles and little uh, videos and sometimes yeah. long videos and so yeah, on. Yeah. But Alexandra Bruce does it, and sh and she's I don't know anything about her, but yeah. she does a terrific job. Yeah. Of, you know, she has healing and mm -hmm. she has things like Barry Trower and so on. Yeah. And. Um, it's it's very interesting because um, I, I mean he talk and he talks about the microwave capability, for instance, in the mind control. Microwave, like the microwave. Well, they, use the mi they use the microwaves, yeah. yeah. Uh, meaning they're 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 using them to to control people's minds and so on. They are. Yes. And okay. that's why a lot, of, a lot of people believe that, you know, these shootings that we have are some of those uh, the Manchurian candidate type things. Yeah, Manchurian candidate okay. coming and to my mind. And one of the things Bar Barry Trower says in there, he says, you know, he says, well, you know, he said it's very easy to turn someone into an assassin. He said, I can do that within three days. In three days, you know. Three days of what? Of programming someone. Okay. 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 But that's like Manchurian Candidate. That's yeah, kind of yeah, hair-raising, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is on the surface of it. I don't know the... Okay, that's a negative possibility. But but this is what... capability well, of the One of the things that he talks about is he says, you know, that a lot of these uh, programs are farmed out to the universities and research communities right. for ostensibly for purposes of helping blind people yeah, or see or, or yeah. deaf people hear, yeah. you know, where they can project the, uh, the they do sound do into they your head and everything. Things, uh, but then the military takes these same things and then they're doing something else, you know, yeah. like like uh, a university might think that they're doing this research so that, so that they can, um, you know, beam words into somebody's brain who can't hear. Yeah. But then well, there, the that military... That is happening. Yeah. Okay, but then the military... Done that, the military yeah. will do that in order to create an assassin or whatever, you know, yeah. meaning they'll use the same technology. Uh -huh. So when I say that, you know, there are good things that are happening, but the evil things that are happening are so much greater, you know, that it's sort of like saying, you know, listen, Monsanto, you know, it's like, 
I mean, yeah, they got these terminator seeds. Yeah. They have all these terminator seeds. Well, I thought on. about that. And I so was talking with Riley. I mean, with uh, uh, Maggie that last night. You know, I remember when I went down South America. I, I I'm trying to make a case for the evil, okay, or just to make the case as a strong. Well, I, or whatever. I, I yeah. wouldn't expect anything. Yeah, else no, no, no. <laughs> but I mean, like. Uh, uh, the, 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 a major advance in terms of up the evolutionary line of uh, 200,000 years that we've been here and everything was what they called the Neolithic Revolution, right? And I remember I was going down to South America with my wife at the time, and one of and we drove down and we went through Mexico and we stopped at a place called Tehuacan or Teotihuacan. Not Teotihuacan. It was the Tehuacan Valley north. Tehuacan, of that. yeah, where they But had anyway, the water, the that's where from there was a guy, Richard McNeese who was an anthropologist, a, ra uh, a radical guy. I mean, he was uh, almost persona non grata, but became the head of the American Anthropology Society. And he had discovered where they developed uh, what was called the mice, mace. And there were people that didn't have it. And it took hundreds of years because they had little tiny kernels that weren't at all viable, and they mm -hmm. were selected in hundreds of years before well, they wheat, finally got wheat to where... Wheat was the same thing. Well, wheat. that's the point. I went yeah. down mm -hmm. in, in South America. I was mm -hmm. doing it with the potato, and they had uh, hundreds yeah. of years again up in the end. So there's a change. So you got to change. So the Terminator seeds uh, could be seen as a continuation of the old... Being the the old being replaced by the new up a chain yeah, of but, but the maze, development the, the to maze, where it's better. The maze that they created was good, but the stuff that Monsanto is creating is not good for well people's health. Well, now they health. would have then you're subject to what what if or I saw another interesting program a guy named Alan Weisbloom sounded like he was on my son put me in touch with it he's there in that and he was talking about. Yeah. Um, um, other other things. I'm sorry, I just lost the track. But you know the but technology. Anyway. You know, it's like, you know, uh, we they have a whole, uh, you know, a whole society. We're living beholden to uh, the dictates of what they're saying. That technology is moving very fast. Well, it's not. It really, is. No, it isn't. It, oh, you don't it's think being so, marketed right? that way. Meaning, oh, okay. it's like yeah, obviously. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Meaning they yeah. they have uh, you know they have uh, a, a lot of, of technological advances and they fire them out so that you have to keep buying a new computer and a new this and a new that. Yeah. Which should have been the case. going so fast. Meaning, now. Well, it's going fast because the marketing is going fast. Well, it's going fast because it's going fast too. It's I mean, there are processes there. You I have, have I have a situation. Evolution right now. works that way. You know, you no, go for hundreds and hundreds of generations why don't, and all why of a sudden, don't, but when why it don't, happens, it comes yes, through punctuated equal. We're causing, we're causing a lot of distress in society. We're causing people to feel d to be disempowered. We're causing, which causes you know a lot of uh, uh, illnesses and so on. Well, that we're little grain of uh, that little. We're that causing people to become absolute and to, uh, obsolete and to no longer be able to. Well, be if, productive yeah, but if the thing, of if the thing of, of uh, uh, we're, we're McNeish doing that thi work in Tehuacan and that so that little grain that was so small it did it was being obsoleted by the process of selection. So yeah, but there's over so a period what of was thousands of years, but that's it's not no, a good hundreds. thing. It was hundreds of case of uh, corn, most important well, export from the new world. Okay, but it's not good to just to to create a society where people become obsolete overnight and so on. Overnight is pretty quick. Yeah. Well, that's what's yeah, happening. Yeah, that's now. essentially what's you know, happening. And this is a terrible thing. Meaning, these companies are obviously not thinking. What can we offer to make the society a better place? Now, I've been going the last two weeks. I've been almost. I've been close to a nervous breakdown, because I have a, a computer that's six years old plus, mm -hmm. which is not a lot. I don't care what anybody says. Six years should not be old. Yeah, right. No, machine, I understand. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But in today's world, it is. Yeah. Well, it's a good computer, and it's like. But apparently, and. Yahoo updated its its uh, um, email a few oh. weeks ago, and I my say I heard that yeah. my email doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work at no. all. It has nothing to do with the computer. Yeah. It's just that the systems in the computer don't handle this new. So Yahoo is forcing people by doing that. They're forcing people to buy new computers. That's a good marketing thing. Yeah? Well, but m Yahoo yeah. doesn't even make the money. So why yeah. are they doing it? They're not. You know, Who they're not. Okay. Uh, meaning. The so so yeah. so I'm sitting there and I'm you know I'm going to here and there and everywhere 
and I find out, well, you really need to update. Well, I upgraded the systems of the computers, but the Yahoo still doesn't work yeah. on my computer. So I don't know what it is. But they create so much. I have had so much anxiety and so much stress in the past few weeks. Over the and computer, me too. And yeah. finally, you know, because I, I, I have an Apple, um, I go into the Apple shop, and it's one of the places where the people are the nicest to you. Mm, yeah. And I go into the one on Fifth Avenue, and everybody is obsequious, and it's like all these people are oh, flying over me yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. But I make an appointment with the Genius Bar, and, and I get there a little early, so I have to stand there for 10 minutes. Mm. And right next to me is a table which has a sign on it that says it's for training, group training. And, you know, this, there are seats there, so people sit in the seats. Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen that. Everybody yeah. is, like, really friendly. But then there's this one guy who's the, he's the attack dog. Mm. And he comes over, and his job is to tell people they can't sit in these seats. Wow. And he's not very polite to people. Mm. And basically... Big? <laughs> no, he's not even big. He's mm. tiny, you mm. know, because they, you know, they don't want to intimidate people. Mm. They don't want people to know they're being intimidated. Oh, I see, They yeah. want to th them to think that, you know, somebody's being polite to them. Yeah, right. So he's... He, and basically... <laughs> like a lawyer, yeah. What he wants to find out is... Are you buying something? Mm. And so if you're buying, he asks, if yeah. you're buying something, you can continue to sit yeah. there. Yeah. If you're sitting there waiting for somebody who's buying something, or if oh. you're just going to the Genius Bar and you don't know if you're going to buy something. Or you're just browsing. Yeah. Then you can't sit there. Right, right, you know? right. And, and I sit there and I say, you <laughs> know, this... <laughs> this this thing about all the politeness and everything it's a, it's just it's just to get you to buy something yeah well, I mean, they don't care whether you're comfortable or not they want you to be comfortable if you're going to buy something or they want to make you comfortable so that you do you know but it, but this is what's wrong with society meaning why not have a store that really wants people to be happy uh -huh. you know yeah. and you know talking about or the have bank, a process that does yeah right talking about the banks yeah. and you know it wasn't like that when we were growing up. The banks, for instance, I, a friend of mine the other day who worked in a bank for most of her life but is mm. a bit younger, was saying to me, well, the banks are always like this. That's the culture of the banks. And I said, no, that's not true. When you and I were growing up, the bank, you know, the bank manager was somebody that you would More go to. More the community, yeah. He yeah. was a member yeah. of the community. He yeah. was somebody you would go into. I can remember when I went to Israel in 68, mm. Um, and in San Antonio, Texas, which is a big, it's a city. It's not like a small town. Right. It's a big city. And um, um, my mother thought that I should, that we should go talk to the bank manager of our bank, yeah. you know, and ask him, uh, I was going to take, uh, I, w I had $150 to take yeah. with me to Israel. Uh -huh. And we went to talk to him to ask him, to ask for his advice of how much of the $150 I should have in traveler's yeah. checks and how <laughs> much so in cash. That's so sweet. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. but, you know, yeah. That's, yeah. You know yeah. can you imagine going mm. to, a, to, a, to the bank manager to ask him something like that? You get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But mm. that's the sort of thing you did. Or if mm. you were, were going to make an investment you'd go and ask him about it mm -hmm. or even like if you were going to buy a car mm -hmm. and it, you know you would go and and get his advice on whether he thought it was a good idea to make a, a down payment and such and such or whatever or mm -hmm. you know it was like you know they weren't there wasn't this predatory um underpinning about everything that a bank did mm -hmm. you know yeah but back back to that that whole thing about the so well, I so think I think people should be able to go to the Federal Reserve against, and ask them things yeah, like but, this. Uh, no, but to <laughs> think of it in another level and everything, are you against evolution? Evolution? No, but I don't think this I is mean, evolution. I there was a time this when there was no. This is not evolution. Well, maybe it is. We're it part. Isn't. It no, isn't. Well, I'm it trying to get. Right. I'm trying to make a point yeah. for the bad guy. Some of it. I want to make a point for yeah, the bad guy. Some of it. Some of it is evolution, but the whole on the whole by on the whole. What we're doing with technology is not evolution. Uh, well, it is an extension of evolution. We're no, it's we're not. We were evolved. And, and not then everything is progress. Well, uh, it's not progress. Well, okay, but that doesn't mean okay. I'm trying to make a case for positive. You see, for me, August for calm. me, progress is moving towards a more a gentler, more compassionate, loving society. Okay, that's your premise. Okay, that's your premise. That's well, what I think progress. Okay, we is. should be back to the ninth yeah. century or something. You know, we can yeah. go back. Yeah. And everything in the uh, good old golden age and, and everything right, it was wasn't good. I mean, there were people well, starving and there were wars. But what we see emerging is something mm -hmm. else, which is like where the uh, Snowden shows that they can uh, uh, they can know everything about you. Oh, and no, the end of privacy. Now, can, uh, can there be made a case for that? 
let me say, Harold, this Barry, not, the I reason I brought up Barry Trower mm -hmm. is because <coughs> one of the things he pointed out was he said <coughs> there are at least 45 governments in the world that that have all of your data. Yeah. It's not just the American government. Right, right, right. 45. Right. Well, okay. 45. Okay. So let's give in that. Everybody's got, so let's say there's no more privacy. Well, how can but, you but make? There's privacy. There's no more privacy from the from the from the people who are the police and everything. But there's privacy between you and me. No, well, that's another I mean, thing. I don't have well, access to, to the, the data that the police has okay. access to. Well, let me make the point yeah. if I can. If there's no private, there's not. Let's say that seems to be what's emerging. Now, uh, what does that mean? Now, that would mean if you were that grain that McNeish was going to find that was going to be supplanted. Histori or evolution has that process. Things change. There are no more Australopithecine anymore. Uh, there is Homo sapien. I think it was an improvement. I don't think there was any reason that we'd want to go around grunting like an old Australopithecine. Well, now, wait a minute. I don't think the they were grunting. Well, well, you think Australopithecine was... Yeah, a lot of people... Oh, then let's go back they, to... They had, they had the capability of, of uh, telepathy and things like that, probably. Well, well okay, you're making so, a strong case for that. And I'm trying to know. make a case for the positive uh, arrow of direction, as Fuller would have said, of evolution has a purpose, maybe even, or something. And you go, and is there, how can you make a case for something like everything is connected to everything else? Or even if you're going to go to some oh, spiritual... Tell me something. Do you think... Uh, well, do you don't let me make the do point. You, do you think that Hitler and Germany was evolution? Uh, that was part of an evolution. I don't know how to handle that. I don't know. That well, was what we're doing is the same as what he was doing. Well, okay, if you... you uh, but we have I understand technology. you make the point. Yeah. But, uh, so, but evolutionarily, I was thinking of it evolutionarily. I think... Uh, uh, there was a direction. It's probably an anti-entropic function or something in the universe. And the thing is, you get down, it's just say, you know, it's really sad that um, Lynn Margulis died recently. You know, she was probably our greatest uh, biologist and everything. She died just a year or so ago. It was a real loss. Would well, you think that our destruction of Iraq was evolution? No, that's another It's thing. not another thing. It's part of the same. That's what's happening. Yeah, but that's I'm what technology is doing. No, but what I'm trying to say is, uh, and under what circumstance can we begin to understand that maybe this thing that's going to where all your privacy is being lost or something, and the terrible thing of it, and comparing it to Nazi and all the rest of it, and all of that, it may be that something inevitable that's going on, and it may be good. No, because like, the intent, uh, the intent is not good. Well, the intent. What was you the see? intent of the process by which we went? Apparently, did no, you see the what they Let me say something. The intent with creating that maze was the intent to feed people. That was a good intent. Okay. Yeah. The intent with creating, with militarizing the police in New York is not in order for the, for New Yorkers to have a better life. Yeah, we're just, yeah, but we're just looking at it in a little different way and everything. And uh, Lynn was this great uh, biologist, and uh, you have, uh, you have uh, a, a process going on, and one of the things she, and the, the, she would have been recognized as our leading biologist, but she had truck with uh, Lovelock. And then also they seem to understand now that, for instance, a human organism, or let's say a frog or something, but a human organism we happen to know, I, on the average it varies a little, everything like that, but the human organism, you and I, uh, uh, Lucy Van Pelder, no, that's a, uh, uh, has about 100 trillion cells that make up mm. a system. Yeah. Every cell matters. And every cell is in total communication with all the other cells, and it makes up a system. That's right. Now, Lynn Margulis was perhaps our leading biologist. She was magnificent. She was the mother of Carl, or the wife of Carl Sagan and everything. But then, and then she had truck with James Lovelock. And jo James Lovelock and Rupert Sheldrake, to go over the spiritual things or something like that, they had a truck with, or association with, uh, the idea of Gaia, that sees the whole evolutionary process in universe uh, on planet Earth as a, as a, um, like an organism, that the whole evolutionary process is an organism in universe that is connected. And back to the analogy of a hundred trillion cells, each cell matters. Each cell is in each communication with it. We could get to a point where perhaps we, 
as a human could. society but this is would not be the where every no but this no is not, you how do you know it's not the intent because, you don't give it a possibility it's, it's not the intent because you see you should know them by the fruit no and you, and you can no, see you're the trying to is the fruits, what I'm the fruits is what we're doing is we're destroying the educational system no you're we're destroying, destroying the, whole thing. the educational system should be destroyed the no, education they're, no they're bringing the education what system what under you're not doing is leaving, you're not leaving any place for possible positive developments that is going on in terms of now because you've got it, you've They're made a straw man out true. of how great it used to be. I think and it's like the no, way I'm not saying it used to be great. What, but what, well, what about the idea no, that there's a hundred trillion I'm cells saying, in an organism? What I'm saying, what I'm saying is what about that we that? need we need to promote the values of people wanting to make the world a better place because if we it's had a value term. okay, it's a value it's a value thing because if humans had that kind of value system, then we would be using the uh, new technology for for those. Well, then why don't we, they, but uh, it's not happening. But that's not arguing against what I'm saying. What I'm saying is take the analogy of biology and that every cell is a hundred trillion. It makes the internet look like a simplistic thing. hundred trillion. Every cell matters. Every cell has a purpose. It functions. Every mm -hmm. cell is in communication with every other cell, mm -hmm. and there's a collectivist whole that could be going over to the evolutionary process. So what I'm trying to say what is, about we want a world where every cell, every human being, is realizing their full potential, like it does within a system in biology. So but that, that will happen. Be that's a result. No, that's not a. That's not yeah, a, but you 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 all you're be. doing is going back to a simple political. No, look no, at no. Things. I'm not going back to a simple. Seems what to I'm me. saying, what I'm saying is that we need to change the way people think. Instead of creating more of a cons more consumerism and more competition, we need to create a sense of of wanting to have a world that is good for everybody. Hmm. And we don't Well, that's exactly that. what I said. That's yeah. what we need. But, 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 but the way to go but about You don't see the it. metaphor no, of I an do. organism I being do. socially I a do. part of it. I do. I and so that. that might be what we're trying to get. Yes, but the only And that may be being forced upon us without the old no, obligation. It's not being forced and upon us. And it's punctuated equilibrium we, and, we, and new species we, may That will only happen if we have the intent for it to happen. Well, let's get the intent into the mind of people. Well, but I can't get you to think as a possibility that there may be some, we may be becoming liberated the intent, in the universe. The intent is not happening. No, but you're just assuming that. No, that I, you're I, making I, that, I can see it. You're making that assumption no, that they're I, all bad guys. It's not no, the evolutionary the process. Running, the, people the evolutionary the process the may be a positive force in universe, and it's working its will, and we're coming to it, and we got to come to, it, and we're coming to it, and it may be that every we want everybody to be realizing their full potential. What does it mean to be a have? How do you have it? Suppose everybody's a have. Everybody can realize yeah, their full it, potential. You're using, you're using the vocabulary of the people oh, who want to have things. things. No, no. You see, but I, that's not what I'm talking about. One of what the I'm talking about is wanting. It's not about having things. It's about wanting the world to be a better okay. place. One of the is things different. is, I love you, darling. Mm. We've been friends for a long time. And one of the tyrannies of things <laughs> is, in time, in evolutionary times, things come. They do have new emergence of new properties and things like that. We may. I can see a positive reason why everybody liberated everybody's in sync with helping everybody else and everything's working to a liberated order a great jump up moment at the end of time coming into a new relationship to the universe as something that could go along with that but we've run out of time for that we're only, that we're out of time with this program if everybody that's wants the world to be yes, a better place let's get it that way okay <laughs> thank you very much i can't get through to you but anyway thank you for calling i think the case could be made for uh, that Thank you, everyone. We'll be coming back again tomorrow. Thanks, Nita, for all the good work. We've got to follow up like this. Uh, thanks. We'll be coming back again tomorrow. Nita Renfrew.